You're watching TVC News. Of course, uh, just before the break, we brought you a report about preparations being underway for the inauguration of Governor Yahya Billo for a second term in office. And uh, the Chief Press Secretary, Mohamed Onogu, is joining us yet again live to talk more about uh, Governor Yahya Billo's programs as he hits the ground running for a second term. Mr. Onogu, thank you for joining us. Good evening. Thank you for having me. Yes. So. Um, the f first place to start, as I said earlier, would be what program does uh, Governor Bello uh, have underway uh, to assuage the yearnings of uh, Koga Itsumi have been dissatisfied with the outcome of the November election? Yes, let me first and foremost congratulate the people of Kogi State for, you know, uh, the event that is coming up tomorrow on the 16th of uh, November. They came out to their number and cast their vote and re-elected the governor, the incumbent governor, for another four terms in office, uh, four years in office. So it shows that the governor has done very well in the last four years, and the people are satisfied with his performance, and that was why he got the overwhelming uh, you know, vote he, he had in the last election. So going forward, the government is going to you know, focus on uh, more on uh, you know, people-oriented projects that will cut across the three senatorial districts of Pungi State. We are going to build on our modest achievements that we've recorded in the last four years. If you can see, in all five sectors of our you know, blueprint uh, agenda, we have been able to deliver to the people of Pungi State what they desire. And we are going to surpass that record by the time we step in tomorrow for another four years in office. If you look at the area of agriculture, we have done very well. Under this administration, in the last four years, we have been able to build a factory, a rice factory, a rice milling factory for the people of Kogi State. The rice milling factory is producing rice at the moment, and uh, yeah, it has been able to, you know, uh, curb unemployment because very large number of people, are, the farmers around the area, they have increased their agricultural output, and we are going to consolidate on that in the area of agriculture to ensure that we move to the area where we have arable land for rice uh, cultivation, like the Baji local government area, for example to a kind of a build another factory that will engage the people and increase food production in Kogi State. Then if you go to area of education, for example, the primary school system we have in the state before the coming of this administration about uh, four years ago was nothing to write home about. We have accessed the problem and we have known what was wrong and we have been able to put in place the basic lack, of the, uh, of, uh, the basic lack in that uh, sector. Today we have been able to construct over 537 new classroom blocks around the, uh, along the primary school, between the primary school and the secondary school level, and we have renovated so many classroom blocks. And in the tertiary institution, we have been able to provide the enabling environment, improve uh, you know, learning environment and uh, provision of infrastructure for academic development. And as you all know, in 2017, when the government you know, had a roundtable meeting with the stakeholders in the education sector on how to put an end to the legal strike that have been you know, affecting the academic uh, uh, calendar in the institution. Since then, we have, not been able, we have not recorded any strike in our higher institution. We are going to build on that to have a very good, robust relationship with the academic sector. Then in our civil service reform, we have done very well to the extent that even the, the, uh, the Nigerian Labor Congress within the state have given the government kudos for the sanity we have brought to the system. So we are going to consolidate on all these things. All right. Content. And more importantly, we are going to dwell in providing you know, rural infrastructure. If you look at the, what we have done in the last four years, we have been able to give to every community one form of basic amenities across over... All right, Mr. Nogu, you have our best wishes so we are going to as uh, the inauguration holds in just a short while from now. Thank you, Mr. Mohamed Onogo, Chief Press Secretary to the Kogi State Governor Yahya Bello, who will be inaugurated for a second term in office.